What's happening, HC Nation, and also soon to be Holy Medieval Nation? So this is TM Nation. TM Nation. This is Holy Medieval. So you might have seen it before. You might have heard of it. Um, we've been talking you about it for a while. Might have seen the video. Yep, we've done a few videos on this. So to show you the different parts, we have the Viking deck, which Ethan loves to play the Viking deck. It's a lot better than his. That's what he says, but I keep beating him. Then there's hey, the I beat you the first two times. In the mail and heading to them so they should actually have them um, if they don't have them yet they will get them ASAP they'll have them by probably by Monday because they're all in the mail and they're all going out two-day delivery so take your cards out let's take out the, the game cards take the game cards there's two sets of cards again one's weather so all the weather cards Learning how to actually shuffle and how to actually do it. So, uh, yeah, it looks like so when, when I'm doing good, I'm happy. Okay. And then, so these are the weathers and the illnesses. Now, this is, has not been shuffled, so shuffle really fast. Oop, there's a land here, yeah. terrain. Okay. So those go down right on this side. Now, these are two decks. question him when it's his turn to roll and he's gonna have mine on his side so he can pull them and I'll answer from there. In, okay. in every single deck there's gonna be this one special card you'll have the beginning every time and it's basically like your home base. Yeah, it's so called my the game is the Vikings Fortress. Yep. What it does is um, the defenders if they're, if they're Vikings they get plus 13 defense and then it'll and then well, all of them would heal. Yep, so going back to it, so there's terrains. Each one of these rectangles on the board gets a new terrain. The ones in the middle are all randomized, so the game always changes. But when it's, um, when it's your own, you get a homeland. You get one homeland, and that's where all of your people actually start their, um, their journey. So every time you pull a person, you play him down to play him on the board, he starts here, and he slowly moves forward. So like chess, they all start off in one position, and then they slowly move forward. Everything though in this game starts off in the homeland. Oh, and speaking of speaking of moving on, whenever you move on, you'll lose a harvest. And speaking of harvest, you need to get something to mark the harvest. I do. Can you go grab something? I don't know what to get. Oh, look at this. So we always have an extra land, <laughs> an extra terrain. That's great. So in the the deck, when I manufactured them, what did I call? When I prototyped them, mm -hmm. there was only 18 cards that were allowed. So when we actually manufactured them, it was a 20 card deck. So we put in two extra cards. And I just remembered that we actually put an extra land. Let's stop. So good. Stop it. It might be good, but it's... I like Mountain Monastery. Yeah, the Mountain Monastery is a place where your people can actually be healed. Aww. There are other terrains that might kill you. There's some that will help you and such. So this one is out of the game. So we don't know what's here. Especially because that was actually one of the good ones, and it's no longer in the game. 
<coughs> so for me, I'm going to look through my nice tech. And these are all brand new cards, so they're anyway, really slick. Anyway, so when you're playing, in most card games you have a hand. So in this card game, you have three cards in a hand. Yep, so to start off, through, grab three cards in your hand. So, can you go get something? Because I don't know what to stop, get. Just stop. Okay. So, when you're playing, um, you have harvest. It goes down whenever you move. There's certain cards in, uh, in your deck. And as a land, that will give you or decrease your harvest. Once, if you reach zero, which is below one, obviously, um, you can't do anything pretty much. You can only defend. If you and you can't, but you can't go any higher than twenty. Yep. So you start off at ten, and the object is to stay away from one. And you don't get any benefit in the way of winning the game if you're at twenty. It just means that you continue continue to battle if you're between basically two and twenty. Again, at one, no more movement. So it's zero. It is zero. But when you get to one, there's nothing really lower to go. So when you use up your one, you're done. Okay, so we're going to use quarters. So in the advanced set of the game, which is all the cards, all the cards that you see here and the mat, those are all available. We have those in stock right now. Um, but we're not selling them because we're trying to get them through Kickstarter. So if you would, we ask you to please donate to our Kickstarter so we can get this, this game out and produced. And in, in addition to the cards and the mat, we also have miniatures which are, instead of playing your cards on the table, you'll actually play your miniature, and they'll go into battle while you keep your cards back here so your opponent doesn't see how strong you really are. Okay, so you want to begin? Yeah, and I just want to say, one donation equals one happy kid. <laughs> this is actually, just so you know, this is actually his game he created when he was five years old. Now, we've actually developed it a, a lot since then. Five uh, years of development. Well, it's more like four since there's there's been a lot that's basically like one year that we haven't been able to do anything. Yeah, so it's been a long time in development, so now we're trying to get it produced. So grab three my, my three cards, you get all yours. So I'm going to, oh, yeah, speaking of moves, you're only allowed to place one and then move one, and yeah. So you're able to move twice or move once and then attack. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to place the Viking Berserker. Right here, and I'm gonna move here. What? Oops. That's why this was missing. I didn't think I put an actual one. Okay. So yeah. You know. Good. I got Mountain Monastery. Turns out this area. Well, that was wrong about. Well, so far what we've seen so far is we were wrong about there being an extra. It's more like we just had a weather. Yeah, one of them was the wrong card. So to start off the turn, Ethan forgot to do this. To start on the turn, you always grab a, land, a game card. The game cards are different weather patterns or illnesses, and it's all by chance. So every turn, it's going to be different. So for this weather pattern, it's rainfall, which means those attacking by foot decrease attack by two. Those attacking by air increase their attack by two. So that's basically it. And then on every weather card, depending on what your people prefer, if they prefer extreme weather, like Ethan's Vikings, they get plus two if they battle in this, um, during this, uh, this round, but I get negative five if I attack during the round, so that's pretty bad. So, I've done my, I've done my place, I could move, but just to be safe, I'm only going to move here. Hey, Jonathan. They changed it so it was a bad effect, but now every every turn you're on it, at least when you have one card on it, you will gain a harvest. So there's that, and I've moved twice, but then I've increased one, so I'm at nine. And I have to my turn. When you're done, you just pull. So if you watch what he was doing, he dropped down to nine and then eight, 
because he moved once, so I dropped his harvest and to nine. Once, and then another time yep. here, so I gained one. Then he went down to eight, and then because he had this one terrain that gives him a harvest, he jumped back up. Uh, okay, so I'm going to play the Knights Templar, and I'm going to move one spot. Of course, mine are probably going to kill me because yours helped you so well. As I said, okay, so this is the desert. It says in the desert, once, lose two days of harvest. So I moved forward one time, so I lost one harvest. Then and then the desert just killed me again with two harvests. Killed but my harvest it twice. only happens once per game, so... Yep, so now that's time. It can only happen, it only happen to you, it can't happen to anyone else, and it can't happen anymore. Yeah, so what I want to do is I want to find out what else is here. So maybe we'll go this way next time, or maybe have a harvest. Actually, as I said, they're probably both really bad. This one is the Cliffs of Insanity. It says, oh, each, it says each round, your weakest attacker is discarded. Oh, goodbye. Yep, so he's discarded. I have no men on the table. His card is, go is gone. Bye. Yep. So to start each round, we, we always pick a new weather. And because Ethan was the youngest, he was able to go first. Uh, so now we have the hail. Storm. A kid's dream to go for some new game. <laughs> so the hailstorm says those who decide to attack in this weather may not attack next turn as they try to recover. Okay. So are you gonna move? Or are you gonna play? Well, so I will play the Viking Berserker and also I increase my one, but I'm not but I'm basically gonna have to decrease it again because I'm moving him up here. So yeah. Hey Alec, thanks for joining us as well. Okay, so you moved and then you're done? Yep. So another thing you can do is that when you're moving, you can move an individual card to any space or... You can move them as an army. Yep. If you have up to four cards, you can move them together and it still only lose one harvest. But there are certain cards that have an ability or something like that. That makes sense that you can have five or six. Yep, so like the um, kings. The kings will actually allow you to have five people in the in a group. Um, some will actually allow you to move one extra space. So they all have abilities. Yep. My favorite. Honestly, I like the fucking berserkers for their abilities mostly. Their abilities I like better than their attack and defense. Some of them are really weak, some of them are really strong. You have eight of them in your deck. Yep. And like he's saying, there's eight, in the, eight of them in the deck. There are eight pawns, one king, one queen, two knights, two rooks, and two bishops. It's like the game of chess. And we're, and we're thinking about that we might actually make it a version of chess. It, actually, it is, yeah. Yeah. So the miniatures, you, when you have the miniatures like I was talking about earlier, when you have them on the board, you can play them here, or you can actually take them off the board put them on a regular board of, ch of chess, and play a full game of there as well. <clears throat> and just to mention, the queens, um, that's so far what the qu of the queens that are made, they can't leave the spot. They can attack, but they can't move. Yep. Yeah, but they still count as one of your armies. So I pull hard and end my turn. Okay, so my turn, I'm gonna use the Knight's Cavalry. Place him down. I've already, Use that ability up so he's not going to get hurt this time. And then I'm going to move one more spot. I remember to add the volcano. I know, yeah. I've got three other places that could kill me. And of course, it's the volcano. So the volcano says once this army may not move for two turns. Okay, so he's stuck there for two turns. Doesn't really matter. At least I know it. And at least he didn't die in the swamp. That's one that's hanging. So the last two cards are either going to be the plains, which will give you a harvest, or the swamp, which will actually kill you. But so is it worth getting a harvest? Is it? That's the question. Okay. Until then, I'm going to pull my card, and now it's your turn. Okay. Start with the weather. Please don't be a plague. Oh, come on. Of course. It's the plague. Good call, it, I am psychic today. Yeah. What is up with it says, the plague has entered your ranks. Your strongest attacker, which he has two, that could be strong, I've got one card. Uh, let's see. Your strongest attacker is infected. 
Use a, use a move to leave your ranks or all will catch it. Death will occur in three turns if not cured. Ah, just kidding. I placed a guilty princess, mm -hmm. priestess. It's really weird. It just looks like princess. Anyway, only one of them can travel the journey, but for the reason I placed her is she can heal one Viking traveling with her her turn. So I place it and my guys aren't affected by the plague. There and you go. Are. And you can't move. I know, that's the bad thing. So if you remember, the volcano actually made it so I could not move that guy. He's infected, and the only way for me to get him to be cured is either to hit the monastery or to get to my castle. Unlike the Vikings, the knights actually don't have a healer. So even their clergy are not healers. So I'm a little bit, uh, I'm in trouble. And I've got two turns, and then the last turn I have to get him back here, or he'll die. Yep, so... so my turn still? Um, I'm just going to end my turn. Yep. All right, so I'm going to play another Knights Templar. I will wait one move, and I'm going to chance it. Oh, and of course oh! I hit the swamp. There is no way you can get here unless you get into here. Each round, your strongest attacker falls ill. So I've got two sets of people falling ill. And no way to heal them. Not yet. Not yet. Um, no. No way of what? He's got something planned up his sleep. I have no idea what it no. is. No. Okay, so I'm going to end my turn. Oh, oh yeah. and you know what? I moved twice, so you, i got to move from the next. I'm um, dead. You moved once. Oh, one, yeah. Two. I was going to say, if you had only moved once, I was going to say, I wasn't, well, wasn't going to say it, but I was thinking that you could have moved there to heal. Uh, I'm going to move my weakest Viking Berserker here to Bountiful Hills. And so he comes another another harvest. But he also lost the harvest by moving. So yeah, so it, nothing happened. Yep. So, your turn. I don't know if that was worth it or not. That's just what it is. Okay, so I'm going to play Knight's Templar. And this turn, he's, uh, you know what? This he turn, I guess, one, two. No, because he can't move until next turn, and he's got one turn to come back here. So he's healed. I'm trying to see how I want to do this, because if I move him back, that means I'll have three. The next turn... How do you gain two? Um, Make sure they know. I know. They did. So I have both of the things that give me bounty. Or oh, the trends. Or whatever you want to call it. And basically, I place my Viking Berserker. I'll move him up here so I'll lose one. And then I'll move the army. Move right here. Here. Okay. Do I? Did you want to 
you want to attack my land? Mm hmm. I, I, I know what you're thinking. What kind of little man. That's definitely not what I'm going to do. Kay. Anyway, your turn. My turn. So I'm playing my knight. Moving once, moving twice. There's two more harvests. I'm at three right now. Oh, I'm in trouble. Yeah. Plus, I have four here, so I can't add any more. Unless I pull a king. Ah, uh, oh, my favorite. And I end my turn. Just kidding. Uh, that, I heard you say I'm ending my turn. So technically that should be... Technically hate. I never drew. Exactly. But now you will say... Now it's actually your turn. Okay. I like teasing my dad. It's fun. I'm glad he, we'll he left we'll the planes. It was one, two... Drop two, I add one, so I'm at two harvests. Holy cow. I couldn't play any because I had four cards in my homeland. And that's as many as I could have in one land. So now that it's empty, the next turn I can actually play one. And I can't draw any because I didn't use any. Your turn. So I can't gain any and I can't I can't gain any. And even if I lose any, I would gain I wouldn't move anything because of this. So I'm not gonna be moving. I would play Harvest Day, but of course I have no need to. It would be a waste. So I play Sedgil Hildur. This is a really hard name to pronounce, and I'm not. I don't want to try. It's Eric the Red's wife, so her name is very uh, strange. Um, not strange. Norwegian. Oh, speaking of that, we never even pulled our weather. Oh yep. Turns out it's cloud cover. Cloud cover. Let's try and back up. Ground dwellers in the mountains lose three attack each. So they lose that, and then look, and then if you look at the variances, I am an extreme, so I get negative five, and he is a clear, so he gets zero, but still. Yeah, so if he attacked, he would have a disadvantage the, because but, of the cloud cover. But he would get negative one if, when he, if he was defending against him. That's right, maybe like this. If you're gonna do that. So I'm not going to attack. I'm just going to cut I'm just going to hover in fear. Hover in fear? I say I don't want to attack until I'm gonna draw the property. Anyway, yeah, end my turn.
points, and then the dice cards, and we'll explain that as we get there. Anyway, so I have zero illness points. Okay. My dad does not deserve this. He does not deserve this, huh? Okay. So just give me a give me a fraction card. Give me a second, please. Okay. So there are two positions away from the castle, so the end ten. That's a so you got ten points there. This one, once a round after winning a foul roll of dice, if the number is five or higher, claim one of your opponent's harvests. What? Did you read did you hear what I said? Nope. Once a round, after winning a battle, roll the dice. If the number is five or higher, claim one of your opponent's harvests. If there's three or more characters in the land, I get two extra defense points. So that gives me 11. So I'm at 20. I'm at 30. And then I'm at... I'm at 39 points. Are these erasable markers? Yeah, you can wipe them off with your finger. So it's all in the dice. It's all in the roll. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. No. I lost that one. I had... Wait, no. Yeah, no, I have 50 actually. No, yeah, I have 50 because I would, um, I would pay attention to these abilities. I was only counting two of my reserve abilities. The third one is the same ability as always, which means I get, a, I get an extra one for each one. So I have 41, not 40. Dang. I got 50. You have 50 points? Is okay, so... Even more than he won. Okay. I, I was wondering because you had five people there. <laughs> you want to grab a uh, paper towel right behind you? No, I can do it. I can do it. All right. Okay, so I have to get rid of one of my people. So because I lost... I'm trying to hit twice. No, you only get to attack once because you moved once. Remember? That's fair. Yeah. So you're allowed to move twice per turn. One can be a move and then the second one can be a, an attack. Because you're moving into that land. Or it could be you move um, two different times during a turn. 
So it depends on how you want to play it. Pineapple. Okay, go. Ten pineapple. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to get rid of. Ooh, they are all really good cards. I'm going to get one of the ones that steal your harvest. This game, you'll actually remember all the rules, and uh, if you're someone old like me that has uh, some timers or all timers, or yeah. just not paying attention, or you're the creator of the rules, you just don't want to pay attention to them. That's right. Cause I make up my own, my own rules, right? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> now these are all in the rules on our website. You can download them anytime, and if there's any updates, they'll be updated on the. Okay, go. Smart Alex. <laughs> I just lost my last harvest. I'm down to one. You basically can't do anything. Laugh it up. And Mr. I can't lose any. I can't lose any. I can gain any. I can't lose any right now. You're not moving. You're right. You're right. Got <coughs> it. Damn, I can lose. So you're not even going to place your card? What? You're not even going to place a card? Okay, so I have all this card. Is the 41, and then plus this, 51. Mm-hmm. After this, though, my king's dead. Ha ha ha! Your king dies? Um, dead. After two attacks. Yeah. Drain points, zero. Weather points, negative six. Negative five. Bonus points, Dice cards. Dice cards. First, I'll give you yours first. So, what? Nine times one. My dad can really among you with these. You're really starting to enjoy this, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. You're a pest. <laughs> it's funny seeing the mad. I'm not mad. Nine times one. This game stinks. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> and this laugher here, don't support him. Just kidding. Please support. Please support our fundraiser. Okay, whether I get what? Zero. Illness, zero. 
Oh, dice cards. That, no, that, you get negative one. You're defending. Oh, defending. Sorry, they're right. Negative one. Zero, negative okay, one. Okay, Ethan, Laffer. <laughs> ah, here you actually have to give me X and Y. They're not supposed to be difficult. They're supposed to be repetition. So you can actually practice. They're so sad he's still thinking about it. Yeah, probably not the best thing for me to stay here because I know he's going to attack again. So I will actually Your turn. retreat a little. So I'm going to move. Um, Dad, you, can't, you don't have any bounty now because you just moved that. I, no, I got the bounty from here. I started there. So that round I got one. So I'm moving here. And he's discarded. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting. <laughs> At some point I will remember and I'll stop doing this. Laugh it up, mister. <laughs> Laugh it up. Dude, okay, you really need to calm down. You really need to
move up here and back. This is the move I win. No, this is you only get to attack once. Yeah. Okay, so we count it up. Where do you at? Oh, no. I'm scared. Well, there's a lot of things coming to my door. Thank you! Two holes and one third. Good job. So how many did I get from the extra point? In so the roll is seven, and I'll give you an extra one, so you get eight points. Okay. Yeah, I want to add it all together. I get 31. 31. Okay. You're going down, Miss Missy. Mm. Missy. Oh. <laughs> then. <laughs> I love it, Goldie, Miss Old Geezer. <laughs> Dude, you need to calm down. You need to be nice, too. All right. So I got 18, the train I got 17, that already puts me at 35. The weather is zero, I get negative five for illness, and then I get a dice card. Okay, dice card. Dun, dun. Eight times one. See, and you, you wanted to do the multiplication. I said no, no because I think I you're more fancy. Division. No, I wanted to do multiplication. Yeah. Well, no, I asked you what I'm going to be doing. You started with multiplication. Can't I said just no. Just answer it. Okay. So it's eight point. It's eight. So the point is one, You're right? One. It's eight. I said that. I eight said times eight. one is eight. You said eight. It's eight. You Whatever. said. I get the point. E I G H T. I. But you're, it's supposed to be the A-T-E. I did the E-I-G-H-T. You're supposed to you be did the A-T-E, you know. <laughs> That's what you did. Anyway, you go one point. Yes. You know what? What? So I'm at 35. Minus 5 makes me 30. I'm at 31 points. It's a tie. I don't lose. Woohoo! Okay. We both lose one person. No, we don't lose. Okay. Just like in Historical Conquest when, when it's a tie. There's no penalties for it. So that gives me another round to serve, to live. Maybe I'll get a harvest so I can actually move. Oh, hey, Dad. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Oh, you get a second. What? Okay, you get a second attack. Oh, no, no, you, you already moved. You moved yeah. there. So, okay. So my turn. So I'm going to play a Knight's Clergy. Put my strongest one in there. And I can't move, so... Ethan, it's now your turn. Sweet! Okay. And why is that there? It's supposed to be there. Okay, I'm free pulling and it's a blizzard. Oh shoot. So in a blizzard, Ethan gets plus one. If I was to attack, I'd get a negative nine points. Wait, but, what? Yeah, but because nine. it's clear skies, I get negative five. Mm -hmm. Oh sorry, because I'm defending it's negative five. Okay. Okay, Dad. Yes. I don't know if I want to do this. Do what? Attack. Yeah, maybe you should stop. Oh, or, or maybe I should place that guy down mm -hmm. and then attack. Go for it, dude.
Can you give me a dice card? I think next time we're gonna Yeah, move your finger. I think next time we're gonna have to do algebra for you. Go, dude, go. Okay. The answer is make sure you can't see it. Three sevens. Three sevens. Nope. What is it? Well, X would be. Yeah, go with X and Y. Don't don't do the. Okay, X is three. Mm -hmm. Y is seven. Okay, X is eighteen. Oh. And Y what is fourteen. That can I see? How? Oh, it's minus. I thought it was plus. Yep. So zero. I think I see that. Okay, so I'm at was it twenty seven times one. What is up with all these times one? Twenty six. I know. Horrible. My terrain is again plus seventeen. I know it's so lucky for me. Weather is negative really five. Good. No illness and dice cards. Seven, which gives me one point. Stick. Okay, so I've got forty three. At least you get a point. 38, 39. Oh, Dad, remember negative 5? I did that. Oh, really? My terrain is plus 17. My defense for my uh, my castle is plus 17. Wait, did you play two, turn oh, two yeah. cards last turn? Did I place two cards last turn? Yeah. No, I placed one. Uh, because there's two there, and I played the cards. I don't okay. cheat here. Okay. Oh, that's right, he dies. Uh-oh. You better get somebody up here. Yeah. Before I get a harvest, and I still have no harvest. <laughs> I have no harvest is, today. You think I'm in trouble? What's that? You think I'm in trouble? Why well, I didn't say you're in trouble. I'm in trouble. I have no harvest. And but no one would get to I am some running point. out of fingers to erase. Yeah. All right. So, your turn. No, you just attacked me. So I'm playing my queen. So now I have four people here. And because I have four people, I can't add any more to this pile. Not unless I get a king. And I can't move, so I'm still stuck. Sweet. You got a king. Get, no, I'm not telling you what I got. Okay, your turn. So the weather is another blizzard. Oh no, fog. Blinding fog. All travelers must stop for this round. Your weakest attacker wanders off to the discard. Who's your weakest? I don't need a wand to get this card. I just need to. <laughs> because she technically has zero attack. But her defense is 10 points. Technically, she's, Nuts. Weak. You're, she's your weakest then. She is my weakest. She goes to the discard. Oh, that stinks. Anyway. To continue my turn, yeah, are you gonna I will place another direction. Well, the good thing is I'm not a coastal land. Sweet. Yeah, but Dad, mm -hmm. how is that good if... But that's a coastal land. So if I attack you, at least you have the coastal. Unless it's just attack. Is it just attack? It's just attack. Right. Anyway, I'm going to turn that to... And dies. Ugly. That, that dies there too. You just killed off your guy? Yeah. You gave up? You just gave up? No. I said I have a strategy that's going to knock your socks off. Literally. Well, technically, I have no socks on, so. <laughs> Go for it. Right, that's going to knock your glasses off, literally. Mm -hmm. My turn, right? Yeah. I kind of feel like we should, pause, that we should pause the game. And oh, yeah, we should probably have dinner. <laughs> All right, we so haven't had dinner game. yet, and it's 6 30, 35, so we're going to pause the game and pause the video. So. You having fun? Looks like you're having fun. Cause yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> you're beating me. This time. This time. But next time, he's in trouble. Really? So catch us next time when we start up this game. Uh, we might just continue this, or we'll just start over. So.
Thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Meow. I'm a, I'm a doctor.